Welcome to Live Large Universe, everybody. We are here tonight for another incredible episode that we're here to share with you about the people in our life who've inspired me that I've reached out to. And tonight, we got Kim Logson. Kim is an off-road Vixen ambassador. She lives in Oregon, and we're going to bring her up here in just a minute or two and tell you all about what's going on in her life. But right now, check this out, guys. We're going to drop down the screen. We're going to drop down the counter, and we're going to say hi to you guys. And so I'm coming up first. We'll bring Kim on in just another minute or so. But guys, here we are. Another episode, episode number four. Getting the hang of this new format. We're over here. Monty, I see you coming in from Bismarck, North Dakota. Appreciate you being here, guys. And Monty knows the routine, guys. Like on the old show, we used to share out and win. Here, the way you get to win on the Fly Racing Goggle Garage is just go in the comments. Get out here. If you can share this out on social media and tag me in it, I'll get you included in this. But on YouTube... What I need you to do is I need you to subscribe to the channel. I need you to follow along and be here every week so you can see all these amazing guests we're going to bring to you. But right now, in the comments, for everybody who's watching, all you have to do is drop it in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from, what maybe you're most excited to hear. If you have a question for Kim tonight from Off-Road Vixens, she's an ambassador with Off-Road Vixens, drop that in the comments now. Every engagement, every comment that I can see and I can track a name back to, you're entered to win an amazing prize just for being here. And so let's go ahead and kill the music. And I'm going to bring Kim up here in three, two, and one. Kim! How are you doing? Yes, I'm doing great. How about you, John? Very good, very good, very good. So I got to tell you, Kim was one of the first people I called when I decided I was going to start a new show called Live Large Universe. I thought to myself, who do I know that lives large, which we all know, right? It's live life to the fullest, make the most of every day. And the most important part, Kim, we're going to get into this tonight. How do you make a difference to others? Well, living your best life, driving outdoor adventures, like you are the definition of live large in my book, Kim. And I'm so, I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I think I mentioned this in the pre-part of the show here, but Kim is from Oregon. She rides side-by-sides with her and her husband, Grant, all summer long. They ride snowmobiles all winter long, and they have this little thing. You guys have followed me. You know, we just call it, you know, John and Edith go out. We do a thing over here in Washington. Kim and Grant's Adventures. Like, we're going to dig into that, what that's about tonight here and talk about it and all the cool things that go with this. Again, an off-road Vixens ambassador. We're going to talk about that. For rumor has it, you might be one of the top impacting off-road VIX ambassadors in the planet, right? Like there's a chance, like, is that true? I hope so. I hope that's true. All right. We're going to, we're going to get to that too. So we're going to talk about all kinds of amazing things, but what I want to tell you guys, like the most inspiring thing that I've seen about Kim is her Facebook feed. If you're not following her on Instagram and Facebook and the amazing things she does on a daily basis to inspire and encourage other people, that's what this show is all about tonight. So you want to go there, right? So Kim, give us a little bit more. What did, what have I not covered with everybody that you think everybody needs to know about Kim, the off-road VIX ambassador, Kim and Grant's adventures. Just give us a quick overview of that before we get into any specific questions. So just, what do we sure. need to know? Well, so much. No, um, I started writing over 30 years um, ago. So 30 plus years I've been doing this. And snowmobile, we ride year round. So um, every weekend, I, I think we might take one or two weekends off a year. But typically every weekend, uh, we're snowmobiling, of course, in the winter. And then side by siding in the summer and boating too. So sometimes we have to fit the boating in there. Um, but at any rate, my goal, our goal, Grant and Kim's Adventures, is to get people outdoors, opt out side. And, you know, a lot of people, they follow my social media page and they're like, I I think I might be interested in doing this. We've never thought about it, but you guys are having so much fun and we love seeing your pictures. I always joke about picture overload, right? Uh, A million pictures, but (laughs) Things that you would never see. You're not going to see that sitting on the couch. And um, we all know that life just passes by so quickly. And I think my most important message to people is what if today was your last day? 
you know, meaning um, to be here and yep. tomorrow's not promised and yesterday's gone. And so what, what can you do to enjoy life and get out there as yeah. family? Because, you yeah. know, we know the side by siding, um, dirt biking quads, it's a, it's family, the families go. And so, um, we just get out there and we started calling it Grant and Kim's adventures because we um, put the rides on social media. And we'll probably talk about that more with some of your questions, yeah, but yeah. Um, we just, the group is, gro we just want to take people out and show yeah. them a good time. Yep. That's awesome. And again, you've been doing this for years and years and years, but my guess is the first time you ever went out, you didn't officially start it, right? So tell me a little bit about the seed and the concept. And like, I, I have some intuition on how I think this happened. And I'm going to confirm for you at the end of your description, whether I was right or if I was off, but I don't want to give it away now, but you know, Kim and Grant's adventures, like where did the, that phrase come from? Where did the idea start? Kind of what, what, what was the origins of this idea of Kim and Grant's adventures? I think that's the nuts and bolts of it, right? Right. Well, we started um, putting rides out on social media and we would just say, hey, meet up at such and such a place and time. And and I want to make sure that everybody understands we don't charge. This is volunteer. I actually I, I have a hard time even saying volunteer because we just have so much fun doing it. Yeah. Right. It's just our way of life. And so we started putting this out there and people started showing up and then the groups got bigger and bigger. And we were like, you know, this is a cool thing. And I said, we just need to name it Grant and Kim's Adventures because that's what we are. We even have it on our side by side door, so you can't forget who we are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's Grant and Kim because I always trying to remember everybody's name, you know, and and they'll be like Grant and Kim. How'd they know that? Oh, it's <laughs> on the door. Yep. Um, but we we just have fun, you know. We um, so we came up with the Grant and Kim's adventures, and um, then we joined a, a side by side club. And um, that club is just growing and growing. I don't think just because of Grant and me, of course not, but I think people really look forward to the rides. And a lot of people buy these machines, um, these toys, and then they don't know where to go. Um, you know, you have to follow the laws and um, that are out there, the, the off-roading, there's a lot of places you can't be legally. And so um, Grant has a memory like a great memory that just remembers he, he maps these out in his head and he knows where to take us. That's and awesome. so it's always about the adventure, you know, let's go to a waterfall today. Let's go to the top of a mountain tomorrow. Um, we, you know, so that's just kind of what, how that all got started. So Kim, this is going to get awkward. I'm just going to tell you, if I was a woman, I would be you. Okay. <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Yeah. And if you would be a man, you would be me, right? Because you, you right. and I are like twins. Like what you just described is basically the way I live my life as well. It's like full throttle, you know, every moment of your day, every moment of your week is jam packed with fun and excitement, whether it's business and the day job stuff, whether it's like supporting other people, talking to the people, putting on rides, inspiring other, like, I love this. This is why I'm so excited about this episode is because like, I feel you, like my heart and my soul is right there beside you guys as you're doing this. And I love that you're doing it down in Oregon. We're doing it up here in Washington. And like just tonight, I came from a snowmobile club meeting where we talked about, it's the first, you know, club ride of the year or club meeting of the year. And we talked about the whole list, like myself, I'm the ride coordinator and we put on a ride every single weekend, all winter long from December, all the way through April. And same thing. We bring people out, we show them a good time. We show them. And that's what inspires people to want to come out. It's like people want to be part of your, you know, AT, your uh, side-by-side -side club. They want to be part of our snowmobile club because they're inspired by people like yourself who just know how to have fun and know how to include, put your arms around people and include people. So I, I just want to say out loud, I am so proud of you and what you're doing down there. And I personally am a huge fan of yours on social media. And let's just talk about that next, actually, because that's really important. I think that's what really caught my eye is you are active on social media daily and very different than most people. Most people who are in this sport and they're trying to make a difference, they're like, okay, yeah, look at me, I'm doing this. Or, oh yeah, look at me, I do that. And your posts are just so different. Most of them aren't even related directly to side-by-sides and, and ATVs. A lot of times it's just a question of the day or whatever. Tell us a little bit about what you do on social media and what got you there and why you started doing the things you're doing. But like, I, I love it. It's, it's awesome. 
Thank you. I, you know, for years I said I would never do social media. People okay. would say, you know, you're a motivational speaker, Kim, and you need to get on social media. And I'm like, no way. And then I don't know what happened. I, I started Facebook and I was just hooked. And I always said that I would not talk about politics or religion. Those have always been my two rules. And I stick by that as those of you that are on my page and follow me know that. Um, but I keep it so positive and, and every day it's important for me because, you know, I know there's one person out there every day that needs a message that I'm sharing. And I will get private messages that say, you know, Kim, I was thinking of taking my life. I mean, we're talking about suicide here. That's pretty heavy. And, um, you share some things that really got me thinking, I need to go get some help. You know, there's help out there and don't be ashamed. And so I cover, a lot of different things. Uh, my sister committed suicide. Uh, people say, I can't believe you talk about it, but actually I, I do talk about it. Um, I, I want everybody to be able to go to my page and if they're having a bad day, good day, I just want them to take a look at that and feel inspired because I believe that that's what, yes, I believe that that's what we're here to do. Um, I was raised that way to make a difference and I will continue to make a difference um, every day that I'm I'm here, I will make a difference. I hope I make a difference. And, uh, you know, I have 5,000 Facebook followers. I didn't know there was a limit, John. There's a 5,000 limit. And and so people will say, I can't get on your page. But um, people do go inactive. They can and so still, then, by know, the way, for anybody who wants to, they can still follow you. Even if you've maxed out on your friend count, they can still go in and follow you in the follow section. I've learned that as well because, oh, again, good. you and I are twin brothers or sisters from another mother, right? Like Yes, yes. And, and here's what I'll tell you is – Kim, and I don't even know if I told you this before, but what you just said about your sister that committed suicide, I also had a sister that committed suicide. I don't know if I told you that before today. I, I think I saw it on your page, John, yeah. and I just knew that I just knew that we were right. I yeah. mean, I just knew I didn't know I, been... until right now. I didn't know that about you, oh. and I didn't know that I had yeah. actively shared that with you. And it just it, it it knocks me over like a ton of bricks. And like for what it's worth, like if you're down with it, I want to take the show in a slightly different direction and talk about this because it's something I wanted to highlight, but I think it's so important. And I think, you know, people sometimes ask me, and I'm sure they ask you, what the heck motivates you to do what you do? And I think both of us coming from almost identical experiences were, were, were inspired and motivated by the loss of literally both of us, our sister, right? This idea that, you know, my words now is every conversation I have, every interaction I have, every person I come in contact with, you have two choices. You can build them up or you can tear them down, right? Yes. And if you know you can make a difference in somebody's life around you and build them up, inspire them, be positive, be a role model, be a positive influence to them, be vulnerable with them to the point where they're comfortable sharing with you privately, man, what you posted today changed my life. I was thinking about taking my life tomorrow, right? I have had similar experiences and I can tell you that it's very powerful. It's very moving. And I know for me, that's a big part of what inspires me to do what I do, including this show, right? This idea of being on here, like we've talked about it, live large, live life to the fullest, make the most of every day and make a difference to others. Those are foundational values that just describe who I am. And I know they're the epitome. You've got a little bit different spin on some of those. Um, I've got them written down here, but do you, off the top of your head, you want to share yours? Like mine's live large, but you've got three or four different things that you shared with me in the pre-show. And if you get stuck in any of them, I'll, I'll tell you what I wrote down. But uh, you, you better help. You better help remind me yeah. because I have a li I have a list so long. I know, right? So you shared with me in our pre-show that you know live each day like it's your last, right? Because absolutely, that's to me where live life to the fullest, like make the most of every single day, is bullet number every. two. And what I yes. mean by that, and people don't always think about it, but the idea of like bad days, right? We all have good days, but we all have bad days, right? And if you can make the best of every situation, you know. That's right. <laughs> like literally on my way to a snowmobile club meeting tonight, I almost was in a car accident, like a very severe car accident. Like I was doing 55 miles an hour down the road. Some lady pulled out in front of me and I had to lay on the brakes. And I chalk it up to this idea of like, you know, we all have these life experiences and, and there's this little intuition that's inside of our head sometimes that puts us in the situational awareness mode where I, I felt something was going on in that intersection. It was happening and I could kind of see it all coming unfolding. I saw a lady at the thing. Two people were in her blind spot blocking me. She started to pull up me, but I was prepared for it and ready. 
and I slow, you know, so it's just this observing of the world, right? It's like yes. being able to look Kim, you in the eyes and look at your body language and your demeanor, the tone of your voice, you're sending signals to me constantly. Right. And you, right. and you see the same thing. Right. And so right. when, when we interact with people, people like you and I, we see that, right. And, and we have no choice on this life, but to just just go out and make the most of every day and to, you know, live each day like it's your last. Live now, run what you brung is another quote that you gave yes. me. Being yes. inspirational, giving back, you know, things like veterans rides and things too. This idea of give, give, give. And it, Kim, tell me if I'm wrong, but all of this energy of giving, giving, giving drives internal happiness and peace to a, like the more you help other people, the more happy you are, right? Oh, I mean, I, I live for that. You know, like it's um, off-road vixens have these neck thingies and that's yeah, yeah. why I have it on because I wear them all the time, of yeah. course, as you know, and the dark shades in the hat. But even on all of our rides, giving every um, girl or female one of these, yeah. and I should give them to the guys too, because I appreciate all the guys that are there. But, you know, just seeing them smile and and giving the kindness of so glad you're here on this ride. And, yep. and I think inspiring people, motivating people, right? I mean, I think of people that are afraid to try things or get off the couch because, well, we don't have, you know, a fast machine. That's okay. Bring what you have. You know, um, I, I didn't start out with what I have now, yeah. right? I, I'm on my third toy haul yeah. or I'm on like my third side by side. So um, I'm on my fifth snowmobile. So go with what you have. And I think, but just I get, think, just you know, get out there, right? Just get out there. Just that's get the, out there. That's the important you know, part. Yeah. You don't have to be an extreme writer. You know, you don't have to do crazy things. Um, you know, just get out there and enjoy the outdoors and, and live life. I, I just can't say this enough, live life to the fullest because like your sister and my sister that are gone, I want to keep that message alive forever is that yeah. you have bad days, you have good days. And sometimes when your day is so bad, you just have to remember that, guess what? Tomorrow's a new day yeah. and the sun is going to shine tomorrow. I promise you that. Yeah. Um, and so we all have been there. We've all been through tough times in our life, but I think the off-roading uh, is just, you know, it just helps. It helps people, yeah. um, you know, get out there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and and I'll go even another double click, triple click deeper, right? Is this idea. And this is one of the things, you know, for, and this is part of the show where if you maybe are watching the show and you've been inspired by Kim or by me, and you're thinking about getting into backcountry adventuring, right? And it could be dirt biking. It could be jeeping. I'm into now side by side snowmobiles. It doesn't matter what it is, snow biking, but here's what I'll tell you, mountain biking even, or trail running or something, right? Here's what I tell everybody is like, just what is so awesome is, you know, we all have our life and in our lives, we have, you know, hundreds and thousands and tens and tens of things coming back and forth at us. And it's a barrage of things, right? Like, you know, my wife, Edith is watching the show in the other room. She just dropped you some hearts, by the way, she's there. And oh. I can, and I can tell you, like, you know, Edith started a new job promotion recently and it's overwhelming, right? Like you got so much coming at you all the time. And then we're in this world of COVID restrictions and school board, this, and like, there's so much going on every day. And the thing that Edith and I have every weekend is we can pull away, we can unplug from that, get out on our snowmobiles or our Jeep. And we literally do nothing but focus on the moment that we're in, right? And it's this idea of we have our, we're surrounded by their friends, the people we love that we want to be around. We're there to help and inspire and motivate them to do bigger, better things than they ever dreamed they could have. And it's that idea of like, you know, the next hundred feet or the next 50 feet, that's all I have to worry about right now. And guess what happens? All of your problems in the world just disappear and go away for that time period. At the end of the You're day, you got, right. you got to go back to it. But to me, the yin and yang of like having a life and then having these adventures, it's the thing that creates balance in my life, right? Yes. And, I, and, and in yours as well, it sounds like, right? It's it's called work hard, play hard. And we live by that. You know, yep. we work very hard, but boy, we we play hard too. And I think there has to be that work-life balance because you're right, you know, with COVID and like in Oregon, we're having a lot of fires right now. So oh, yeah. you you might be in smoke for I mean, it feels like a month, you know, yep. but weeks at a time. And so things can really start to, you know, to wear on you. And so you have to be like, okay, let's, you know, let's, let's get going here. And um, so I think again, back to social media, my Facebook page, I just want people to feel happy. You know, I want them to be able to look at my page every day and say, you know, I needed that. You know, I, I, if they yeah. smile, I'm happy. That's what I want them to do. 
Awesome. Yes. Awesome. 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 Well, I'm going to remind everybody who's watching. we got a good number of people watching right now. And you guys, if you haven't heard this earlier in the show, a couple of things. The way that we will know you're here is to drop in a comment. So please come in here. And if it's as simple as saying, hi, let us know that you're here. Maybe I love knowing where people are watching from because as we continue to grow the YouTube channel, over on Facebook, when I did Facebook Lives, we had people literally from all over the world watching this show. And coming over to YouTube, we're kind of restarting and kickstarting this whole thing off again and kind of rebuilding it up. And so I would love to know where people are watching from. I love seeing the names that pop in. And at the same time, every name that pops in, every comment that comes, cops, or that pops in is entered in to win the giveaways we have on every one of these shows. So we have sponsors at the top of the show and Fly Racing, Woody's. And by the way, I've got a new sponsor coming here. Uh, I'll just kind of, I'll leak it right now. Mountain Lab, my, my, one of my partners, right? there, right? Mountain Lab. So they come in here and they're going to be giving away all kinds of cool things that both whether you're adventuring in a side-by-side, -side, like there's things like, you know, headlight lamps, there's flashlights, there's chainsaws, you know, the little hand chainsaws when you got a tree down across the trail that you got to clear. There's all kinds of goodies that they're going to start bringing to the show as well too. So we're going to continue to get sponsors who come on here and support you guys because they know that the message that we share, like Kim's story today, is so important to all of you to get the message out there for safety, education, backcountry adventures, living our best lives. And people want to be part of that. And that's what these sponsors are here doing is supporting all of you guys for being here. So Kim, we're going to wrap this up, but what do you, what else do you have that you want to share? Like you want to talk a little bit more about off-road Vixens? You're welcome to do so. Yeah, I just have two things. Um, sure. Again, on Brent and Kim's adventures, when we go on rides, we are always about destination and food. So going to different restaurants that you ride to. And I think it's real important to support your communities. Yeah. You know, when you're out snowmobiling, I mean, the fuel that we that we purchase to, you know, the restaurants and the stores and all that. And so that is a big part of what we try to do also, give back to your communities. And then the other thing with Off-Road Vixens, I've just... I've enjoyed being an ambassador for them. I would be an ambassador for everybody, Polaris, everybody. I hope somebody's watching this that says, <laughs> hey, yeah, um, I've actually applied, but I never get picked. But yeah. Off-Road Vixens um, was kind enough uh, to um, pick me two years ago, and I'm on my second year with them. And um, they, I love what they're about. You know, it was two females uh, owners that started this um, back in 2008, and they're just um, – they're amazing ladies. And I think what we off-road vixens, what we represent yep. is, is really what I'm trying to represent. So anybody that um, is not aware of who off-road vixens is, yeah, check us out. Um, and, and that's just a couple things that I just love being an ambassador for them and, and doing this. And I so appreciate you having me on your show. I, I mean, I just can't thank you enough. My absolute and for yeah, go ahead. And for being a social media friend too. That's great. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's my absolute pleasure. And, uh, I get so much, I mean, everything I do here is all volunteer just like you. And like I said, we could be reincarnated versions of each other based on the show. And what we talked about is I, I love how you're living your life and how you're out there inspiring others. And I, I try to live up to do the best I can on my side as well. So again, anybody who's watching, don't be shy, drop it in the comments. Let, let us know where you're watching from there. You'll be entered into win, but it really is important for me to continue to get engagement from folks on the show. And if you love the content we have today, we're going to have a lots more. You know, I did my last show for three and a half years. We're only in episode four now. And so we got a long road ahead of us and would love to have everybody subscribe and share out the channel and help us grow it. So very much appreciate it. All right. Anything else? No, I think that I think I'm good. All right. Well, I wrap every show up the same way. So God bless all of you for being here and for being part of this family and live large. Have a great night. Thank you.